Welcome to part three of my series about the San Diego and Arizona Railway's route through the Carrizo Gorge. In part one, we explored the northern end of the route. In part two, we covered the Seven Sisters trestles and Tunnel 18. In this video, we continue on to the famous Goat Canyon trestle. Along the way, we'll see tunnels 17, 16, and 15. A rockfall forces a detour around Tunnel 16. Our last stop was a small hillside trestle south of Tunnel 18. From there, the tracks curve eastward around the mountain before turning south again. We soon encounter another hillside trestle with Tunnel 17 visible in the background. A rough road was cut into the mountain above the tunnel during construction of the railroad. Nearby, a ledge was carved out for one of the construction camps. The north portal of Tunnel 17 has been damaged and one of the timber braces is almost missing. Here the south portal of Tunnel 17 seems dwarfed by the mountain. The north portal of Tunnel 16 is blocked by a large rockfall. We will have to hike around the ridge on the remains of the construction road. As we come around the end of the ridge, we get a great view of the Goat Canyon trestle. First view of the Goat Canyon trestle. Awesome. Yeah. Something I've dreamed of for a long time. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. This giant wooden trestle is the crown jewel of the Carrizo Gorge route. In 1933, a massive landslide destroyed the original Tunnel 15. The highlighted area in this photo shows the scar created when the mountainside collapsed. At the time, Tunnel 15 was being upgraded with a new concrete portal at the north end. The concrete portal was tilted and shoved downhill at least 20 feet below its original position. A new, shorter tunnel was dug to bypass the landslide. This change in the route required the construction of a huge new trestle to cross Goat Canyon. It's hard to nail down the exact dimensions of the Goat Canyon trestle. Various sources list different lengths and heights, but it's roughly 600 feet long and about 200 feet tall at the highest point. The Goat Canyon trestle is definitely impressive and an incredible achievement. To railroad crews, it was simply known as the Big Trestle. The name Goat Canyon Trestle came into use relatively recently after the trestle became a popular hiking destination. In 1976, the remnants of Tropical Storm Kathleen caused severe damage in and around the Carrizo Gorge and the railroad filed for abandonment. The former main line is now a short siding Currently, there is a ballast car parked on the siding by the trestle. As you can see in this photo from 1977, at the time the railroad was abandoned, there were two tank cars on the siding next to the trestle, as well as a small crane. By 1979, the tank cars remained, but the crane was gone. Note the timbered south portal of Tunnel 16 in this photo from 1979. By 1985, the longer tank car was gone, and only the older firefighting tank car remained. In this photo from 1985, the collapsed portal of Tunnel 16 is just visible at the far right. Later, the ends of Tunnel 16 were reopened, but the burned out timbers were never replaced. Here is the south portal as it looks now. There used to be a small shack next to the signal tower, but it was destroyed by vandals sometime after 1979. The new, shorter Tunnel 15 is just past the south end of the trestle. Tunnel 14 is visible in the distance. The south end of the original Tunnel 15 was near here and used to be accessible, but at some point the timbers were burned out. Only the new Tunnel 15 remains. We take one last look at the trestle before beginning the long walk back to my truck. The 
tank on the hill supplied water to a system of fire hoses on the trestle. This concludes my three-part series covering the northern half of Carrizo Gorge. I plan to do another series on the southern half of the gorge at some point, so be sure to subscribe to receive notification of future videos.